Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up this Foscam wireless 1080p IP camera model C2. And before I get into details, the first thing I'm going to do is plug in a power. So this is the micro USB keyboard that came with it. Let's plug on the back over here. The status LED turned red. Take about 30 seconds worth of software to boot up. And I have an Android device and also an Apple iOS device here. I just want to show that the app I'll be using is this blue icon blue greenish icon with a white cloud outline. This is a free app. The Foscam app is free on the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store. And no matter which one I use, the setup process is the same. So I'm going to use my Android device to demonstrate it. Hello, Foscam. It just said, hello, Foscam. Ready for Wi-Fi configuration. Ready for Wi-Fi configuration. So now it's pulsing green pretty fast. So I'm going to leave it to the side here for now. And here, I'm just going to launch the Foscam app. Now, if you don't have a user ID and password, that's fine. On the lower left, just click the Sign Up button. And what if you're signed up, it's free. And after you create your account, just click Login. You can add multiple cameras. So since I already have an existing camera, and this is a new one, I'm just going to click this plus button right here. Or I can click on the upper right, another plus button. Hit plus. Now I'm just going to scan the QR code on the back of it. So I'm going to tap this and scan the QR code on the back of the unit. Okay, so I scanned it and I need to put in my Wi-Fi name and password. So grab my Wi-Fi information. If, if it's not correct, you always type it in yourself. I hit connect. It says camera is connecting. It'll take about 30 seconds, 220 seconds. Alright, it says wireless connection succeeded. Well done. Okay, so now I got my old camera on the bottom, new camera on the top. I'm just gonna hit this play button. And since this is the first time I'm logging in, it's gonna prompt me to change my user ID and password, which is a good thing. So what I'm gonna do is put in a new username, my new password, and I'm just gonna hit this checkbox on the upper right. Saving the data. Hi. All right. So now it's all set up. And like I mentioned, the set process is the same for whether it's your Android device or iOS device. So I'm going to launch the Foscam app on my iPhone here. I'm going to log in. And now there's a C1, C2 on top. C2 is what I just added. So I'm going to hit this play button. Hello. And just, we're, the iPhone is on Wi Fi. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this Android phone off Wi Fi. And I'm just going to uh, close down that app, clear it all. So, currently, it's on the cellular network 4G. And I'm going to launch the Foscam app. Hit the play button. So now what this means is like, let's say I'm at work, I'm out at home, I'm not on my home Wi-Fi, I can still view this unit. So, yay. It's a little bit slower since I already kept out my uh, network, I already exceeded my quota, but just want to demonstrate that now I'm also connected to a cellular network, I can view this camera away from home. Thanks for watching this video on how to quickly set the Foscam wireless IP camera model C2 on an Android device as well as an Apple device. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.